Hi, first grade. So we should have just read Felipe in Monet's garden. We're gonna be creating an artwork inspired by Monet. Claude Monet was a famous painter who lived more than a hundred years ago. He lived in France in a country town. He loved bright colors, so he planted many different kinds of flowers in his very own garden. Then he dug a pond and filled it with water so that he could paint the sky and trees that were reflected there. Monet planted beautiful water lilies in the pond and then their leaves floated on the water in yellow, pinks, and whites. Flowers bloomed on top of those leaves. So Monet loved to paint with bright colors too. He painted pictures of the water lilies in his pond by dabbing bits of color side by side. When you stand back, you can see the shape of a flower, but when you look close, you can see the strokes of paint. So if you followed our directions into the room carefully, you should have this really wide piece of paper. You want it to be horizontal. So it should look like a line like this, really nice and wide. What you're gonna do is you're gonna find a black, brown, or gray, or some sort of dark crayon like purple or blue, and you're going to write your name in the very bottom left-hand corner. I'm gonna write Mr. Boatfield in black because that is my name and I want it to show up because we will be painting this. I'm also gonna write our class code right next door and that is what you need to do. I'm going to pause the video and give us our class code and then you're gonna give me a thumbs up once you are ready. Awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the water lilies and the foliage of our pond. So that means we're gonna paint the little plants that grow on the water and then we're also going to paint the little bushes that grow on the side of the water for our pond. Later on we'll add a bridge. Don't worry about that today. We will do that another time. What I want you to do is I want you to find a green. It could be a dark green, it could be a light green. It doesn't matter which one. Find one, hold it up in the air, or share with a partner so that I can see it. Awesome, thank you so much. What you're gonna do at the very, very bottom is I want you to try drawing some lines, and these are going to be our bushes. You can color hard and waxy, it's totally up to you, but I'm doing lines that cross over each other all down on the bottom. So watch me first. I'm gonna show you all the things you can do when you do this. So I drew some water reeds, some bushes. I made some lines a little bit longer than others to make it look realistic because all the different lines in nature will be different sizes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some water lilies. So I'll show you how I do mine, but you can do yours a different way too. When I do my water lilies, I try to find some bright colors for the flowers because there's actual flowers that can grow in the water, which is pretty cool. So I found a yellow. I also found an orange and this kind of pinky purple that I wanna try using. What I do is I will draw some ovals that are looking up at the sky. This is gonna be my flower. So that will be my lily. And then I'll take a green. It could be the green that you use for your bushes, or it could be another green that you found. I'm gonna use this other green that I found, and I'm gonna draw the leaf that it sits on. So I'm just kind of doing a real wide oval for it to sit on. Now, some lilies don't have flowers. You could just do a lot of ovals with no flowers but I like to go back and maybe add some flowers on top of it to make it interesting before we paint this. So that's what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put some water lilies. You wanna put them maybe over here because we're gonna have a bridge that goes up. So try to put all of your really interesting water lilies mostly in the middle. Some of them may get covered up by the bridge we're gonna add, but most of them should be visible if you put them right in the middle. I've noticed that these turn out better if you do decide to go hard and waxy. So press a little bit harder and you can get some really 
cool effects. Listen carefully though. We will not get to paint this today. Do not color this with crayon. I don't want you to color the water. I don't want you to color the sky. Don't color anything. You can draw, that's okay. But we are going to paint this so you don't need to color those things now. But here's some things you can think about doing. Maybe you want some dragonflies or butterflies in your pot. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you know what? I want a little dragonfly zooming around. I might even do a little dash line so it looks like he's zooming around. You could do some birds and maybe one of the corner. I just like to do little check marks so that it kind of looks like birds. Hmm, I could do a little frog. Maybe someone left a boot or a fishing pole at the pond. You can be creative. Maybe there's a little boat inside the water. It's up to you, but please don't color the water. Please don't color the sky. We will paint this next time so that it looks a lot like a Monet pond. So don't color. You can color with the crayon and draw some things, but don't go crazy. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Now, this part won't take very long. When you are done, you can just put it to the side in front of you so I know that you're done. I'll just come by and check and make sure that your name is correct and that you didn't color the water sky. And then you can choose a new activity today. Thank you so much. I hope that y'all have an amazing day. And I'm so excited to see what these look like when we start painting them.